stay on topic here. Please try to follow along because a lot of times you try to cut me off on this commissioner appointments. Please follow along. After three years of activism, after attending majority of council meetings, after looking at all the agenda items, I'm here to say the biggest problem with the city is not the little things like my neighborhood council money and the promotional materials of that or this or that or the other thing. It's the commission appointments that all go down just like this one, warm and fuzzy. It's a great person, has done so much, a community leader, very educated. And again, I don't know this candidate from the rest. And all the council members get up and approve the appointments. But then we find out $7 billion was lost in pension money from these exact commission appointments that come through just like this with all the same accolades. And then we find SEC investigations. I spoke with District Attorney Madam, Steve. Madam President, he should be directing his comments to this then commission appointment. Thank you, Dion. Thank you. And I hope you got my second message yesterday. Um, I apologize. But um, then what I'd like to say, I don't know how else to say it. I guess I'd have to say vote no on all Viragosa commissioners until the feds have sorted out this mess. Because here's why it's important to counsel. Just be very aware of who you're appointing. Because when you approve somebody that ends up getting arrested for corruption and money laundering through these commission appointments, well, you have signed on. Your name is on this appointments. And, hey, I, I think you're too small fish for them to really get involved with, but you are held accountable. And I'm here to say corruption occurs through these commission appointments. Vilar's only job is to appoint the commissioners and get out of the way. Thank you. This item is now before us. Um, Madam Clerk, if you...